darlings, welcome to Tea with Justine. Today my friend Laura is here having tea with me and she's going to teach me some Hebrew um, and a little bit about Jewish culture because I always love learning new languages. I think it's one of like the best ways to learn about a culture and people. And so I prepared this black tea with spearmint. I had to go hunt down mint and I actually didn't know at the grocery store like well, like I always spearmint tell people, people. Own thing or <laughs> yeah. most people know peppermint because yeah. they know candy canes. So oh, if it's not right. peppermint, it's usually spearmint. Okay. Unless got you're it. some gardener. Yeah. But, um, well, hopefully I got the right mint then. I just yes. soaked this in black tea. Can you pour some? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Um, hopefully we can taste the mint. I do love mint though. Mint and tea is always so nice. Yeah. So when I lived in Israel, I um, was working at this high school and I made friends with um, a teacher and her son who was like my age. So mm -hmm. after class every day, I would go over and she would, you know, put a, a pot That's of so tea nice. on and usually like nuts and fruit. Oh, I got some yep. because you mentioned it. I got yeah. some nuts and fruit from Trader Joe's. Trail mix for yep. you Americans. Yep. But I think they called it Shrek. Mix. Oh, track. I know. Me. I don't know what the difference is. But my like my host mom. So a lot of a lot of the people in my community were Moroccan. Oh, okay. So they come with you know some like Arab culture yeah. influences. I mean that's the really cool thing about Israel is you have um, you know Western Europe uh -huh. uh, Arab culture, but you also have Ethiopian Jews and Russian Jews. Oh, nice. And Sephardic, so like yeah. Spain and Portugal, and you have. You know, you walk down the street, you can hear ten different languages. So I love that. It kind of is yeah. like the meeting of so many different cultures. But um, as you have noticed, tea brings us all together. It does. That's why we're having tea. Is it hot? I'm it like is. Always oh, nervous. It's, I feel like. Well, mm -hmm. I can take things pretty hot. Okay. But. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. So I want to learn some Hebrew. Oh God. Okay. So how do you how do, if I go to Israel? Yeah. How do I say hello to someone? Um, you could say hi, like oh. a, like a North, like you know. There's a lot of it's a lot of people there do speak English, okay. but shalom. Oh, is, oh, I knew that. Yeah. Shalom. Um, if you want to say it in Hebrew, um, there's probably like 20 different ways to say like what's up or how are you. Oh yeah. So you can say like manyanim, which manyanim, ma, ma, anyanim, ma, anyanim. Yeah, which is kind of like what's interesting. Like what's up? What's up? Oh, hey, what's uh, interesting? Makore, what's happening? Makore. Yeah. Makore. Um, mashlomech, how's it going? You know, mashlom, shlomech, shlomech, or shlomcha, if it's shlomcha. depending on the gender. You gotta get the good. I know. <laughs> I gotta learn how to hog a loogie. Okay. <laughs> this reminds me of Titanic, remember in um, the scene when they're Leo. spinning yeah. off the deck? <laughs> Great! So <laughs> romantic! Um, yeah, I mean there's like a hundred different ways to okay. say. Hi. How do you say tea? Shy. Te. te. Oh, te. Yeah. I knew it. I feel like in every language <laughs> it's something that's similar to tea. Yeah. Te, yeah. Chai. So. Yeah. So, I mean, alright. I want to hear a good. <laughs> <laughs> I think Smith actually did come out on that one. That's not required. Um, okay. How do you say? Would you like some tea? Do you know how to say that? Well, you could. Okay, so rotze or rotza, which is do you want? Uh -huh. um, based on if it's a man or a woman. Okay. So, rotze te. Rotze te. I mean, I have like. A Californian accent, like yeah. I do. Israelis look at me and they just respond in English, you know. Oh, but, I hate uh, that. But, People um, speak to us in your language. We just want to learn and be part of your culture. Yeah. Um, okay. Rotse te. Rotse te. Yeah. Rotse te. I already poured you some. I almost said C. <laughs> well, because I oh, yeah. um, I took like six years of Spanish. I know, then, we were in a lot of those Spanish yeah, classes together. Um, all through like eighth grade through um, freshman year of college. And then um, I went on birthright, so that's a yeah. 10 day trip to Israel. And um, I came back just wanting to learn so much more about 
that culture and um, so I started taking Hebrew classes and I moved to Israel for a year. Um, by the way, the best way to learn a language is date a guy that doesn't speak English, I find. Well, it's my favorite yes. way to learn. It, um, <laughs> it is a good way to learn. Um, I can attest so. to that too. So I dated a, a Bedouin guy. Do you know what Bedouin is? I know I've heard it, but I can't say I know. I wouldn't know how to define they it. They are in like the North African and like Arab region and they're nomadic people. Oh, okay. Um, which is obviously like a, a dying thing in yeah. modern worlds. Yeah. Um, to be nomadic. Uh, there's a lot of laws that, you know, just doesn't really fit into modern society, but um, they still hold on to a lot of like their culture and huh. their customs and their traditions and things like that. So I dated a guy in Israel that was Bedouin. I mean, he lived in an apartment building. Like, yeah. He didn't live in like a tent with a camel or anything. <laughs> Damn um, it. So he a only spoke Arabic and Hebrew. Okay. Um, and actually, it's really cool because when you live in Israel or when you're in Israel, all the signs are in three languages. Every single oh, nice. sign. They're always in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Nice. So... Um, but yeah, so I, I got a lot better, um, at my Hebrew, but that was Can you teach six years ago now. <laughs> Has so. it been that long? Can you teach yeah. me, um, how to say, I would like some ice cream. Um, okay, so Ani. Ani. Rotze. Rotze. Um, Glida. Glida. Yeah. Glida. So, in, in Israel, they, Glida. yeah, actually, yeah. that's great. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> I think it's the French that's helping. Yeah, the R is, like, a little softer, and it yeah. sounds like the French R, and a lot of times when I hear French people speak English and Israeli people speak English, depending on, like, what they're saying, sometimes I can't I tell, tell. Chris to get the right accent, I have to, for speaking French, I yeah. have to um, pretend like I'm disgusted with everything. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's how I've been able to master the French accent now. Um, okay, so Ani, is that I then? Yeah. Ani, Jose, Gil, Glida. Glida. Yep. Glida. Yeah, so, Glida. and then there's this phrase like that. that's kind of funny in Hebrew that's like, Pa'am Shlishit Glida, which means pa third time ice cream. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, if you just translate, yeah. like, each word. Um, and it kind of means, it's like when you keep running into someone uh -huh. unexpectedly, and they kind of have a bunch of different explanations to where that phrase came. I mean, Hebrew is a modern language, but it's based off, like, a biblical yeah. language. So there's a lot of things that they invent. Um, so, like, to search something on the internet is la Google. Like, la Google. To oh, Google something. Google. <laughs> yeah. And um, so they say it's like, oh, next time we should sit down over a scoop of ice cream. Like, yeah. that could be, like, one explanation for the okay. phrase. But the other one, which I like, is that in English, we say, like, ice cream, you scream, we all oh. scream for ice cream. <laughs> and it's kind of like, if I run into you again, I'm going to scream like you're following me. Like, oh, like yeah. there's, it could be, like, a weird English mistranslation. That is and it so could funny. be, like, this nice yeah. idiom. And it's just, I don't know. It's just How do you those say funny phrases. Pa'am. Pa'am. Shli. Sheet. Shli. Sheet. Glida. Glida. So it's Pa'am pa -am is time. Okay. So Shli. Sheet is like the third time. Okay. And Glida. Pa'am. Shli. Sheet. Glida. Yep. Sweet. So. And now how do you say I want to dig into this English trifle? Um, <laughs> that's in the next episode. <laughs> well, I think we're going to dig into this beautiful English trifle. Can you see this? I mean, English trifle always looks better when it's in its original dish until you scoop it out. But this, um, I am so excited. It's one of my favorite things. And we're going to leave you to the rest of your day. Um, so thank you, Laura, for joining me. Thanks for thank having me. Thank you all. We'll see you all soon. Toodles.